the tuxedo. Variation one, two, three, four, five. I mean, what the fuck? So the tuxedo, right. Why do I have a bit exclamation right at the beginning? Because well, there's about 10 variations. Yeah, there are f***ing 10 variations of the tuxedo. All date from around the 1900s to the 1930s. Like literally, I'm seriously convinced that it was just one bartender trying to up the other bartender like some big giant f***ing huge dick fest. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. If you really want to see the real proper list, Go to uh, Difford's guide. He's done a really good guide on how they're all different. But basically, it's a varying combinations of, yep, sherry, obviously, that one comes in there, but mainly dry vermouth, some absinthe, maybe some sugar, some maraschino, gin, old Tom gin, dry gin. It's, it's like what, seriously. So I'm gonna do a quick little 10 list, okay? They got 1900, you have Harry Johnson's from his bartender's guidebook. That's actually the first proper reference to one. Then you got 1903, there's Daly's bartender's guide. 1904, drinks and how they are made. 1910, Jack's bar manual. 1912, we have Hoffman House bartender's guide. 1914, we have drinks. 1927, we have Harry McElhone's ABC of cocktails. 1930, there is the Savoy variation, to which there are two in the book. And then in 1931, we finally have Old Waldorf Bar Astoria Bar Days. F***ing hell. There you go. Really? It's nuts. So, let's actually go to Harry Johnson's tuxedo. Okay. Right, so here we go. The tuxedo. I'm going to do Harry Johnson's, which is from about 1900 from his bartender's guide. Now, Harry Johnson is actually rather a great bartender. He was literally very anal. So, I mean the guy could literally eat charcoal and shit diamonds but he did do a great f***ing drink and this is the tuxedo the tuxedo is actually not based on uh, evening attire it's actually named after a club that was in the tuxedo park in upstate new york in 1890 which was actually a basically gambler's den um, the tuxedo, on a little side note the tuxedo dinner jacket was actually designed for uh, King Edward the seventh i believe he was the one that abdicated in case you're wondering and uh well he loved drinking gambling or well, you know and his tailor decided to design him uh, a rather a nice uh, sort of evening attire which did not have tails so they cut off the tails and that's what created the tuxedo dinner jacket and believe me i know i'm a boarding school boy i understand the whole idea of formal attire for various events it's, it's ridiculous but this drink is basically a sort of a variation of a martini really and this is harry johnson's you do one and a half ounces of old tom gin all right okay one and a half ounces of dry vermouth keep it in the fridge okay one bar spoon maraschino okay Then, two dashes of absinthe. Boom. Two dashes, orange bitters. Add some ice. Now, glassware-wise, uh, this is out of gas at the moment, so I've been keeping my uh, glass in the fridge. Stir. glass you'll also need a lemon twist okay and you're also going to be needing cocktail cherry all right so strain it like so lemon oil and then 
drop the cherry in. Oh, there you go. Beautiful little thing. A tuxedo. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. So I like to stick with basically the original 1900 and avoid the dick fest. There you go. Enjoy. Now f off and get home safe.